Hello guys, my name is Jeppe, or uh, J3, as I'm called in-game. Uh, today I will try to show you how to catch the unique striped bass. I know there's a lot of new guys coming to California and they don't know how to catch the unique striped bass. Or uh, they try to catch them and they play for a long long time and don't catch them anyway. So I will try to show how I do, how I catch them. Uh, and I know there is a lot of more ways to catch them than my method and there is definitely more methods and ways to catch them that is better than my way but uh, this is what works for me I'm not saying that it would work for every one of you but maybe it can help someone to catch them at least so uh, what you want to do is you want to go to this place here it's called the foggy sanctuary and you have three docks I'm standing on the middle dock and uh, I only fish sunny days between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. I know you can catch them on other times and I also know you can catch them on cloudy days but uh, these are the days and times that I'm focusing on for different kind of reason maybe I can tell you about that later on but that's what that's the days and times I'm using so let's go to the backpack I'm using the Farcaster 260 as a road and I'm using the Helios 3000S as a reel. Uh, you can use the 3000P as well. Uh, actually that one will uh, make it easier to get the fish to the dock. The only reason I'm using the S is because it fits my speed and my method and my technique better than the P does. So that's the only reason. As line I'm using the braided 0.23 millimeter line 9.1 kilograms or I think it's 20 pounds if you transform it to imperial I'm not that good at imperial system but that's the line I'm using you could pro pro probably use any kind of line I don't know really uh, I'm no fishing expert by any means and I know there are other guys using other lines myself I really have no idea the difference between the lines I know of course I know this line is stronger than this line but that, that's pretty much it next you want to do is to go to the jig head I'm using the 14 gram or a half an ounce jig head 4 and o hook uh, I know there is one guy saying that he's using this jig head with a 3 and a hook and he's catching uniques I actually did the test once with different kind of lures and uh, this jig head in particular and I didn't catch any unique so I'm not using it because of that uh, that being said I'm not saying that you cannot catch any unique probably you can or I don't know really but I know I don't catch them with this hook so that's why I'm using this hook which I know I catch them with so next up you go to the shad and uh, you want to use the 7, me seven centimeter shad or 3 inches today we're going to use the grass green shad and uh, these two shads is, are mainly the shads I'm using the black and the grass green I've caught uniques with uh, both of them and uh, the rest of the shads I, I cannot say anything about them because I haven't used them really so so I think that's all let's go to the fishing location and uh, as I said, I'm standing on the middle dock. I know uh, there are guys standing on this dock. And I know there are guys standing on this dock as well. When they are catching the uniques. Oh, look in the chat. Bandit 5. Congratulations to him. 19.1 kilograms. Unique stripe bass. So right away we see one catch a unique stripe bass actually. So, so we know they are here. And uh, as I said, I will try to show you how to catch them. That being said, I will not guarantee that I will catch one because I, I, I catch them on a regular basis, but I also have times where I don't catch them. So maybe this is one of those, those times, I don't know, but we will try. So people have told me that you can catch the unique stripe bass from this greenhouse here. Right, straight over here. 
all the way over to this power line pole on this side. That's a p pretty big area. So, myself, I have caught a unique striped bass here at this point. And I have caught them at this point here. I have caught them at this point, which is uh, the place that I mostly fish and the place that we will try to fish today. And I have caught a lot of uniques at this place. I have also caught them at this place here, towards this power line pole. And I have caught them here, at this place. Just slightly to the left of the, these reeds here. So, uh, normally I'm very active in the chat. We will leave the chat open just to see which ones are catching the uniques. Uh, today I will not, or at least now I will not be active in the chat. So I hope the guys in the chat forgives me and don't think I'm angry or in a bad mood. Because normally I'm a very outspoken person. And I, hope, I, hope, I hope the other guys and players likes me. So, uh, I'm using number 3 on drag and uh, number 3 on speed. Uh, the speed is mainly because it fits my lift and drop and the method I'm using. Maybe it's not fits you as well. You may, might want to use number 2 or you're using a different kind of reel or rod. Or I don't know. But uh, the number 3... Uh, of in uh, drag, I have never, ever, ever broken a line at this place with these kind of settings. Sometimes I catch a fish and uh, the tension meter will rise to red, or just bumping on the top of the tension meter. But I have not yet. I have not broken a line. So, but you can also use drag on number two. That's no problem at all, you will catch, you will get a fish in on number 2 as well. I'm just using number 3 because I, yeah, I feel it's more comfortable and uh, brings the fish in a little bit faster. So the method I'm using is uh, I'm fishing the same spot over and over and over and over and over again. Sometimes I catch unique, sometimes I don't. Uh, I played for uh, two or three hours earlier today, this morning, and I caught four or five uniques in that time, I think, so. Uh, other days I have uh, done the same thing, just fishing the same spot over and over and over again, and I played for two or three hours and not catching a single unique, so sometimes I catch them and sometimes I don't, and uh, that will go for you as well if you use this method. I know there are other methods, and I know there are other videos and guides out there about this place and how to catch the unique striped bass, and I will recommend you to go and look at those videos and those guides, because uh, probably many of them is better than my method, I don't know really, I just know that they don't fit me. Uh, I know uh, this one guy who's here in California fishing, his, his name is uh, uh, Scarecrow, is from uh, Brazil, very nice guy. He done uh, done a video on how to ca on his method on how he's catching the unique striped bass. Uh, so if you search for striped bass uh, California fishing planet on YouTube, you will find it. And he's using Portuguese in this video. So if you feel more comfortable with Portuguese and English, then you, I will definitely recommend you to go watch that video. Or either how you will. I could recommend you to go watch that video, it's very good, and it's using a different method. I don't speak a single word of Portuguese, but <coughs> you can still learn something only by watching the video, so... So... Uh, what do you say? Shall we try and catch a unique striped bass? Let's just fast forward to 4 p.m. <coughs> so we will fish here, slightly to the left of that windmill right out there and I will cost yeah probably I will try to cost maybe 40 between 40 and 50 meters out just because uh, any further out the only thing you catch is salmon 
which is a pretty nice fish to catch, but it's not the fish that we were looking for today. And I'm using this lift and drop method. Really. And uh, mostly when I catch a fish or a uh, unique, we actually had a strike there. Uh, I catch them somewhere between fish on. Oh, low tension. We don't want to lose that fish. <coughs> I mostly catch them somewhere between 20 meters and 40 meters. So that's the area that we are going to focus on today. So this is not a big fish. It's not unique. It's a little striped bass. 4.8 kilograms, 72 experience. So it's experienced earned. Same spot again. Just hit it out there. And uh, when you're fishing this spot, you will notice that around 40 meters or maybe 39 meters. It uh, oh fish on it drops and it becomes deeper. It's uh, it's like a cliff or what you call it, and uh, that's where you will find the fish mostly. They like to go on to deeper water. At least at this place. Oops. No oh, small fish. Most of the time you you can see what kind of fish you have on. If you have a regular fish, if you have a trophy, or if you have a unique. Because they act differently. The regular size fish, the small ones, they are very fast fish. So, and the trophy and the unique, they are big fishes. And they're fat and slow, so they don't move. Move as fast as small fishes, so you you will learn how to see what kind of fish you have on. The fun thing about it is that sometimes you actually catch uh, the sneaky bastards, as I call them, that way they will act on one way. And when you actually bring them to the surface, you will see that, oh fuck, it was not that kind of fish, it was a unique, or it was just a trophy, or... Because you will get uniques that will act the same way as a regular small size fish. And then you get them to the surface and you will see that, oh fuck, it was 18 kilograms and not 5 kilograms. Which is always a pleasant surprise. So. On the other hand, Sometimes you will catch trophy fish who is acting just like the uniques. This was really small. That will act just like the uniques. And then you will be very disappointed when you're fighting a trophy striped bass for 15, 15 minutes. And uh, you think it's a unique, and then it's just a trophy. That can make you cry. No, not really, but it's quite annoying. I'm 100% sure. Maybe you even uh, were bragging in the chat and showing them off that, oh, look at me, I can catch fish and write in the chat at the same time and just write unique incoming. Then you catch a trophy. Yeah. Laughs on you, boy. So, no. Oh, I see uh, one more guy. Moas, Moas, caught a unique, 17.8 kilograms. And as she said, it's not the size that matters. Is this a trophy maybe? No, you know, normal, regular. So. This is pretty much what I'm doing. I'm fishing the same spot over and over and over again. 
that's all. And uh, sometimes you will catch fish, and sometimes you won't. I remember first time when I came here to California, when I was uh, level 20. Is it level 20? Yeah, level 20. In my first game hour at this place, I caught a unique. And then I managed to catch two more uniques the next couple of hours. So Then I played for four hours straight and didn't catch a single unique. So uh, it was a little bit frustrating. Went to bed and went up the morning after and started playing in California again. Played for six straight hours. Didn't catch a single unique. And I'm thinking, what the fuck did I do wrong now? What have I changed or... Because I hadn't changed anything. I was doing the exact same thing as I was doing when I started playing in California. So... As I said, sometimes you will catch them and sometimes you will not. And I think that's pretty much how it goes for everyone out here in California. Everyone that you see in chat catching uniques. Oh, this is a nice fish. It's either a trophy. Yeah, it's probably a trophy. Uh, everyone that you see here catching uh, uniques, they will also have times where they, when they don't catch uniques. That's just bottom line. Then. Uh, Maybe some of them have very high ratio anyway, and better than me and better than most of everyone else, but yeah, that's just the way it goes. So, excuse me, I have to drink some water. We missed the strike there. So, uh, that's one thing about the fishes at the place. It's uh, the strikes or the bites. They are very sneaky and uh, even though I'm level 22 now, <coughs> I haven't uh, figured out the best way to, to hook them. That's why I'm using this lift and drop method because <coughs> With this method, I press right mouse button, which also is the strike button, on a regular basis. Oh, there's a fish. Do you see it? Can we catch it? No. <coughs> I hit <coughs> the right mouse button on a regular basis. So when I hook a fish, it's just pure luck. Because I have no idea why or how. I hooked them. It just happens to be that when I press the right mou mouse button, I'm, I hook them. So that's why I'm using this method. And it's an e easy method to use as well. It's not slow method or don't have to be a slow method. So it would be fun if we actually could catch uh, Unique while I'm doing this video. Otherwise, it this could no, it's not Unique. Uh, sometimes you can hear about by the sound of the reel, or at least that this reel that I'm using, I have learned to listen to the sound, and sometimes you actually can hear by the sound if it's a Unique. But. This can be a unique, but most likely it would be a trophy. I believe. And uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to show you, but uh, probably everybody knows if you turn this way, like 180 degrees back, you reel them in faster. I don't like to do that because I actually like the struggle. The only time that I'm moving my rod that far back is when uh, I get very low tension on the line and that's just because I want to create tension and don't lose the fish that's the only time I'm using that method uh, this is coming in too easy I think it's a trophy what? 
11.2 kilograms. So, quite nice trophy though. And again, using same spot over and over and over and over again. <coughs> and as I said, this is the method that's working for me. That's why I'm using I'm not claiming it to be the best method. I'm not saying that you will be on top of the leaderboard if you're using this method. But you will probably catch unique at one point. By using it so <coughs> sorry. Oh fish on. It's a big fish. It's either a trophy or a unique. And by the sound of this reel now, and how this fish is acting, it's actually pulling line out at some point and I don't reel it in that fast. I would say that this could probably be a unique. And uh, once you get this unique, you <laughs> sometimes people maybe they can be like, oh, I'm turning 180 degrees just to get it in as fast as possible. But there's no really need to do that because if you're just doing this over and over and over again, the fish will get become tired, and you will get it in anyway. So remember, it's a uh, big fish and it's heavy so it will get tired oh. and uh, even if you're afraid of the tension if you're using the dragon tree you can you can use the dragon too as well and you will get it in it will just take a little bit longer so that's why I'm using it actually was actually up on, uh, on the top of the tension meter there. So, but as I said, I have yet broken a line at this place. 26 meters. 25 meters. It would be a bummer if I lost this fish now. Because this is why I'm doing this video. To show you how to catch the unique. Twenty meters. Eighteen, seventeen. Come on, boy, or girl, or whatever you are. A lot of uh, Spanish or Portuguese in chat. I don't mind if uh, people talk other language in chat. It doesn't bother me at all. I also do it sometimes when I'm from Sweden, so I know there are a couple of other Swedes here playing. So sometimes we're giving tips to each other or just being polite and have a little shit chat conversation in Swedish about IKEA and the nice weather, as everybody else in Sweden are doing and chatting about. No, just kidding. But I tend to use English mostly in chat. Just because I want to be polite, and uh, so everyone knows what I'm talking about. Come on now, fishy! And this is this is typical for uh, uniques. You can literally stand like this for 15, 20 in-game minutes and just. Fighting, 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 fighting. So I think the longest I ever fought a unique stripe bass was for 45 in game minutes before I actually caught him. So Come on! Four meters. We are getting close. Come 
Mam oje. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Five meters. Hmm. So this is how you can be sure that it's a unique that you have caught. And uh, not a trophy. Three meters. Oh, it was down on two. I saw it. Ah. Not back out. Come on. This way. See if it's getting any better. Five meters. Okay, this is starting to get uh, a little bit of frustrating now, because normally it doesn't take this long time. Come on. Three meters. Okay. It would be nice if we actually had a net to just... Put down and bring it in. And just grab the line and lift it. Two meters, come on now. Speaking in the chat on uh, what kind of uh, gear we set up, we're going to use. I see someone wrote Farcaster 260 and uh, just under uh, 3000 P, that's the heaviest 3000 P. So I'm using the S just because it fits my speed and the way of I, how I do lift and drop. Come on now! Really? This long? I will actually go back later and watch the time that I started to fight this fish. Because now it's starting to get pretty annoying. Two meters now, come on. There's literally nothing. It's starting to splash in the water. One meter. And there you go. 17.5 kilograms. So that's uh, not really a big, uh, unique striped bass. The biggest I've caught is uh, 20.1 kilograms, I believe. Which actually was the first unique that I ever caught at this place. So, but uh, as she said, it's not the size that matters. So that's that's how you catch a unique. I'm glad that I actually caught a unique at, in this video because otherwise it would be pointless to doing it. So, but 
as I said, you will not catch a unique uh, every second game hour that you play. Sometimes you just simply will not catch a unique, and that's the bottom line. Nothing else to do. You can do a restart, maybe, of the game, come to another server. I don't know if that stuff really works or not, if it's just imagination, but using this method you will catch a unique. And, uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm glad it didn't have to take two hours to make this video. It only took, was it, uh, 30 minutes or something. I don't know, but so uh, good luck, everyone. And, uh, go out there and catch this unique snow one. Remember to watch other videos as well and read other guys. Scarecrow on uh, YouTube. Search for uh, Stripe Bass California Fishing Club. I think you'll find it. This video is good. So, take care. Bye bye.